Hi and welcome to The Coach. This is the first vodcast in a series of six where we talk about all things on Namibian sports. And uh, we'll be talking about the success stories, the failures, the past, the present and the future as well. I'm Script and each week I will be joined by a special guest and today it is Fire Blay. Today we have Cassidy Caron. He is a writer and editor of Playmaker magazine. Uh, he's also a fashion designer with concept and an award-winning musician. Welcome, me bro, Cassidy. Thank you for having me, man. Aish, it yeah. feels like this the studio is becoming home. It, it <laughs> must be. It must be, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so honored to be to be num- guest number one. That's it. Yeah, on the coach, man. That's it. Mm-hmm. Now we're living in a, in a good time, man. In the world of of, of sports, we're well fed as sports fans, mm-hmm. and you're a big sports fan as well. Andrew. Um, what's exciting you right now? It's just uh, exciting that it's almost like the approach is changing, you know. The mm-hmm. people that have been in charge of the power mm-hmm. have, have, have noticed that the new generation mm-hmm. has the influence. So mm-hmm. they're sort of giving over a bit mm-hmm. of, the, of, the, of the decision-making, do you understand, in terms of just the uh, direction, mm-hmm. in terms of the celebrations, mm-hmm. in terms of just the, 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 the songs that are being sung, the, 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 the branding in terms of, you know... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, um, sportsmen and sportswomen so i just think it's going into a a, a more uh, younger generation mm. uh, uh, direction do you mm. understand it's 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 looking more appealing for for, for kids to 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 chase it because because when we grew up I, I think it's the same for you as well we all wanted to be a certain footballer 100 percent. you know I, I remember when i was playing street soccer that time um it was my dad was coaching african stars mm. and uh, Marai Swarpoy, the likes of Freedom Purida. I was a Stars fan, so like <laughs> that generation. Yes, yes, of I was course. looking at those guys and yeah. I was saying, I want to be a footballer. And I remember um, the, it, I got to a point where there was a gap now where like, ah, but maybe sports isn't the thing. And now we're back at it. All these kids want to be hotto and shit. All these kids want to be, yeah. The, the example is being set again. Mm. Do you understand? So I think that's, that's of the best things of, mm. of, of the current time, you know, that there's something to be excited about you mm. know every mm. week mm. there's there's a player to be excited about even not just Otto and Shalulile mm. there's so many others yeah. doing big things so I think yeah who did you want to be as a as a lighty yo Benny Makati in, in the 18 area <laughs> in the 18 area I had my number 17 shirt especially after what he did to Namibia oh especially <laughs> yeah man I was a big Benny Makati fan Away. Yeah, no but Benny was cool um Speaking of Afcon, because that was the Afcon, there was the, the Afcon. Benny McCarthy yes, yes, goals yes. against Namibia. That right? was the Afcon. Yeah. Um, we just saw probably one of the, the best Afcons in the last few years. <sighs> Senegal winning, you know, was, Egypt it, on it was, fire. It was an amazing game. Ne? It was alive. Mm. You know, I could feel just the, the pride of being an African, mm. regardless which yeah. side it went, yeah. Yeah, which way it went. Yeah. Did you see Senegal winning that one? I I, I like the I always like the underdog, yeah. the story of the underdog. Do you mm. understand? And for just money, mm. the, what he's gone through, do you mm. understand, to get to, I don't want to single out the player, yeah. but you know, just the, the, the challenges that money has had to face. Mm. I really, I didn't see it happening, but I, but I always uh, I like to stand on the side of the, the underdog. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm the same. I actually initially um, had Zimbabwe there and not to win it. Mm. I just had them there um, to say, to shake it up a bit. Yeah, shake it up a yes, bit. Yes, Go yes, out yes. there, get three, four victories mm. and now your name is in that in that conversation. I, I, I thought I thought the same. I thought a, a much smaller team, mm. Zimbabwe was one of those yeah. you know, would come and, and shake it up. Because usually there's a there's always that underdog that, yeah, that you know that does that, the that, most. That, that, that does the most. The know. Leicester. Yeah, the, the Leicester. <laughs> yeah. So I thought that would happen. And I I, I actually want one year for, for something like that to happen. You know, mm. not the powerhouses. To Senegal is also an mm. African powerhouse. You know, mm. for for a Namibia yeah. to, for example, or Botswana yeah. or something to to take the Afcon, you know, yeah. a no. Southern African country would, would would be amazing. I get I get nervous when Namibia is in an Afcon, man, because I my expectations are high and low at the, at same, the same time. time yeah. It's like we have what it takes, <laughs> yeah, but the, football is football, mm. and and there are, there's experience mm. um, when you get to these competitions. But that's for the gents. Mm. Women's Afcon is coming up in July. Um, what's your take on, on the women's game, not just here in Namibia, but globally? Globally, I think, you know, uh, uh, first things first, the financial aspect of the women's game is not where it's supposed to be. Mm. If you take one superstar uh, male footballer, mm. his salary could, could, could amount to a whole women's team. Yeah. Do you understand? So that's, that's, that's first things yeah. first. Do you understand? So if the fi- financial aspect isn't there, then there's a lot of work to be done. But 
um there's this progress mm. so s- slow progress is, is still progress you for know sure. for sure but I- even just looking at the namibian uh, the, the gladiators you know having played uh, zambia at home you mm. know we almost made it Eesh. you know we almost made it we we just had to but that's football you know yeah. but we are closer and um it's 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 brilliant to have the namibian uh, uh, male team the senior uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, national team mm-hmm. play and qualify or or not qualify but they they every year or so they they can qualify there's mm. the, there's a ability the mm. potential to qualify mm. and then we have the under 21s you know the younger mm. team that qualifies as well and yeah. now the, the 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 ladies so it just means it it reflects directly at the the state of football in namibia mm. do you understand so i think we're going somewhere if we can if we can get to a place where we are close to qualifying or we 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 can get qualification yeah. every year i think uh, it's it's only it's only a certain time until we get into a round of 16 yeah. and we understand which is the quarter final we get it. because uh, i think uh, the last time we qualified we 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 didn't get out of group stages no, so we, we all, did well though we did well in because i remember stages. that first game we played morocco yes 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 and in my mind i'm thinking hakim ziaj it was a tough one it was a tough one it was a tough one you But know and boys, we held our own we, we held our we own we 100% and there were things that went against us the own goal yes. the, they understand those yes. type of things but oh we were supposed to win that game we yeah. were supposed to win it <laughs> <laughs> true, true i remember it vividly yeah. you know but these are the things and if we if we if we have a system that's consistently producing players mm. do you understand that can add a bit because if you look at it now hoto and 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 shalulile they're mm. now on the downward slope mm. they still have a few mm. years but they mm. on the more serious yeah, side of the team to, towards the end of towards the end of the the career do you yeah. understand whereas i remember following these guys since under 21 mm. yeah it's so mm. funny to have seen but there's still not another hoto or shalulile mm. because it also took them like at at 21 They weren't the superstars that that you see in the world of football globally. No, no, not at all. Like when there's a new kid on the block in the world, he's 18. He's hot. He's 17. He's hot. 16 years old, you know. <laughs> yeah. Real Madrid are, are are scouting such and such. 100%. But in Namibia it's almost like our players start to get that recognition at 26. 26 yeah, you first have to prove yourself. You first have yourself. to get the, the 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 cup or the, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that that start stop um mentality mm. or, or or reality rather mm. that you see in the world of of sports so mm. you say you you have a, a hotter or shalulile uh, Beatrice Masilingi and Christine Boma mm. and and you have a few players here and there Marcel Papama Andrew. guys that are that are moving and shaking mm. but they're far and few between almost it's almost like there's a crop of players and athletes that and come then stops. and then it stops yeah. what what do you attribute that to do you think development or mm. lack thereof mm. just like i said if we constantly developing players every year there'll be a player who's now mm. of age mm. who's 18 years old you understand mm. who can come in and 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 uh get introduced into the the crop of experienced players mm. so you get the feel of what champions because this team is a champion namibian team they mm. won kosafa cup yeah do you understand they won kosafa plate it's the exact same team this yeah. is a champion team do you understand so we need to introduce younger players mm. into this champion team while the champion mentality is still there mm. do you understand because now say two once once shall we them are now out of the the national team or at an age where they are not mm. as impactful anymore mm. who's going to carry who's going to know this is how we what's the namibian play what's our style of play it's true do you understand so you need young guys to come in whether it's in in uh, uh, athletics or mm. what wh- whatever you know mm. you just need development constant development so that It's not surprises. A Peter Shalulile was a surprise. Yeah, on the scene. He was. Do you know Peter Shalulile was a left back? Uh, uh Ricardo was telling me that. He was a left back. He was telling me uh, uh, Shalulile was a left back. Um guys like hot of them they played different positions, different positions coming up. Yeah, and then he, because he was the under 21 then coach. He was a midfielder. And then he was a midfielder. Yeah. So they 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 found a system that works for them. Mm. You understand? But it's not like like Shalulile came and was a, a, a golden striker yeah, from yeah. birth developed do you understand yeah. who, who, had, who had gone through the right channels mm-hmm. do you understand that's why there are certain things that these guys lack mm. even our best players lack certain things mm. do you understand that can take our our our, our level to the next to point the next one. yeah because of development so so when it comes to like hotel shalulile which i think you know they are probably the, the two biggest brands yeah. of football that we have right now yeah in the maybe yeah. we, we've had before the Caranelos the Manetti the Benjamins the, the Benjamins yes, 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 yes. the Shikudus yes, yes, you know yes, yes. we we've had star players star players big star players um but it seems like the brand of a footballer is different now even when it was back then of of course 
guys like David Beckham changed everything because now they took the attention away from the field and they said, but I could also be a off field, off field superstar. 100%. I could also do this and that. I can 100%. also sell clothes and cologne and, and all these things. And now we're seeing endorsements for our athletes that we never saw before. Mm. Um, Hotto, Shalulile, mm. um, Christine Boma and, mm. and Beatrice mm. with, with Nike and, and, and Adidas respectfully. Mm. What do you think it takes um, to get more Namibians, not just on an athletic space, because we're musicians as well, so mm. we, we understand the, the difficulty in creating the brand yes, 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 and, yes. and establishing the brand. Mm. What do you think it will take for an athlete in particular to do that, the young ones coming up now? To establish the, the brand. Mm. Align yourself with, with, with things that can help towards your brand, number one. Mm. Do you understand? And be consistently great because if you look at I'll talk about football now because mm. it's a little bit more difficult going into the different things yeah. and I have more knowledge uh, on football if you look at the past 10 years more than 30 Namibian footballers have gotten professional contracts mm -hmm. do you understand? Mm. of these 30 there were a bunch who had lived in, 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 in shacks prior to this who have very difficult uh, circumstances at home do you understand? so it's not like these guys decided, okay, I want to be a brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? So, I think we have, you mentioned four. Mm. We mentioned four. So, there's not really a, a structure still mm. behind how to get yourself out there as a brand. Mm. These are, it's, it's almost sensational. Do you yeah, understand? It yeah. doesn't just happen. Yeah. Do you understand? These are few and far between, like you said. So, the Shalulile, the Hotto, uh, and, and Christine Boma, mm. and, you know, they, 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 have gotten themselves with their with their with their achievements mm. to the level where brands want to now get behind them. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. But how do you get behind a player who hasn't achieved something yet? Oof, that's deep. Because how many players get into the position to achieve something? So now you align yourself mm. with 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 whether it's a right agent. Because mm. you need to understand that this is a thing that has so much potential. It can possibly change my life. Mm -hmm. Like I said, players went from living in shacks Shex, to now yeah. having proper. Uh, uh, Places where they live, they mm. can now uh, support their families and mm. so on. Do you understand? So you first need to identify that this thing that I'm in, this, I'm passionate about it. Mm -hmm. I'm good at it. So number one, I need to be disciplined. Mm. I've seen so many, Oof. many, many talented players just let it go to waste. It, they, I'm, I'm not going to say I was the most talented, ne? But I was one of those guys that made excuses. Ah, but the knee injury. <laughs> it might have been a, a small but injury. you made it worse. Because you're just like, <laughs> ah, but... When you're injured, you're not going to train. Do you understand? That's when, the, that's when you train the hardest for, for some people. Um, when, when you're injured. When you're injured. Uh, to, to compensate to now compensate. for the time that you're losing. Um, that discipline one, hey, we, can, we can go on about seven hours do you understand? on discipline. So I think uh, it's difficult to say what you do to get brands behind you. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But what you can do to make yourself, uh, uh, to put yourself in a more likely position mm -hmm. to get brands behind you. Mm -hmm. that, that you can do. Yeah. Do you understand? You can be the best you can be. Mm -hmm. Outwork your mm. your 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 neighbor. Mm. Do you understand? All of those things come back to whatever we do, whatever yeah. your 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 discipline. Do you understand? Outwork your neighbor and align yourself with 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 excellence. Mm. Do you understand? These things. I know Peter Shalulile personally, and this guy works hard. Hey. I, I've I've been told um, by by some people like like you who have who have grown up with him as well, mm. um, from street soccer to to sundowns. Mm. Like literally have known that whole journey. Mm. And they say he works harder than than anyone. They've, it, people on the come up, he works harder than them. He works harder. He works harder. You know, there was a point where I heard uh, uh, things like Peter Shalulile is almost untrainable. Mm. He's uncoachable. <laughs> he, he just goes there and, and works. Yeah. Do you understand? There's almost nothing you need to do. There's nothing you need to do. Yeah. Do you understand? He, because he's already so driven that he, that he works hard. So... These, these guys almost designed their own uh, fate, mm. their own destiny, do you understand? Of course, there were coaches involved, there were teams involved that mm -hmm. made them shine, but it comes down to you as a, as a, as a sportsman, mm -hmm. do you understand? How bad do you want this? Because currently, there are people whose lives have changed. Mm. So this is a, this is a, a career path that, that works mm -hmm. for, for, for a few that, that put mm -hmm. their, their whole hearts in it. Now, when you look at uh, like Shalulile, for example, you know, he, his personality and his desire is to be great. Mm -hmm. And he's currently the most valuable player in South Africa. The in, best of player. Of all time. There hasn't time. been a more valuable player. You know, in Namibia. <laughs> Come Don't, on, let's bro. not go to South Africa. Yeah. But, you know, like just to bring it closer to, to home, um, 
on our end, we are a little bit multifaceted. We do different things, mm. and we, we speak on in in Namibia as a creative, as a as an athlete. Um, you kind of have to have multiple streams to survive, to stay afloat. Um, we've seen time and time again players that you know you play in the national team, mm. but you got to be at your nine to five, mm. and that, you know? that that goes against it. It almost yeah, yeah they almost go against counteractive. Yeah, it almost yeah. Uh, they go against each other in, yeah. in in most cases. Yeah. Um. But the personality of the footballer, the the desires of the footballer, because these are these are kids that wanted to be that are influenced by so many different things. Like when I met you, I had no idea you were inspired by fashion so much mm -hmm. because all I knew was the musician. Just the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just knew the music, and I'm yeah. like Cassidy. So, so you just dope. take the person at surface value. Surface value. Yeah. But there's so much, and and you just had to get yourself in a position. To be able to express yourself uh, creatively through fashion, yeah, bro. Maybe you couldn't do it 10, 15 years ago. Ago, you, do you understand? Maybe I didn't have the means, the or, means, or the the, the confidence. Even. Do you understand? Yeah. But with footballers, it could be the same thing because now we see um, football brands away from football. Mm. You know, like even just bringing it home, Ryan with with Ryan Yambe with his clothing line. Yes, yes. Um, you see footballers that are fashion forward. I see Obama Young with drip I've never seen before. Oh, he has drip. He has like <laughs> golden I'm, shoes. You know and, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you think we so we allow our Namibian athletes and, and sports stars enough of the freedom to, to express themselves? Or do you feel like we kind of, as a, as a footballer, you must go into that, that zone? I think we're still boxed, you know. Um, football, like everything else, is a form of expression. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So how David Beckham gets to the position where he is, David Beckham, mm -hmm. is by the, the, the world, the football world, and everybody in power realizing this guy is a cultural icon. Mm. Yeah. Do you understand? Football is one of the most, if not the most watched game mm -hmm. oh, for sure. in the whole world. Yeah. Do you understand? So if the most watched team... Mm -hmm has a star player. This must be one of the most powerful, influential yeah. people in the universe. Yeah. Do you understand? So that comes from the celebrity, uh, celebrity culture mm. that other countries have. Mm. So Namibia doesn't still have that culture of celebrating mm. the artist. If an artist walks in dripping like Obama Yang, mm. we laugh at him. Yeah. We in say, Namibia, what is this? What does this case is? is? <laughs> yeah, do you understand? So we don't have that culture of celebrating. That's mm. what other uh, countries have. Mm. So when you celebrate the artist, you 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 put him in a position of power mm. because now he has leverage. Mm. He celebrated. Mm. Now he has leverage to, to negotiate, mm -hmm. to walk into boardrooms and say, I don't want this deal. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. But we have to just take any deal in, in, in the position that we are because yeah. we are not celebrated. We don't have that leverage. Yeah. Do you understand? So I think that is the, 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 the difference between uh, locally for, for us to, to thrive and why... Uh, the space that we are in, mm. why we are not accepted so much, do you understand? Ryan Yambe will have a much more difficult time. And I'm not talking about just the, the numbers or whatever. Yeah. I'm just talking about the cultural the culture. approach, the, the mindset. In Namibia, getting his brand off the ground. Oh, yes. Then, 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 then. And he's, he's, he's proudly Namibia. Yeah. Do you understand? He's yeah. a product of, of, of Namibia. Yeah. But we don't even celebrate him enough. He's mm. not even a superstar here. If you see him in the mall, mm. you walk past mm. him. This is a guy who plays mm. for Blackburn. But in, in, in Manchester, it's different. In Manchester, but, he's a superstar. But this is home. But this is home. <laughs> do, you, do you understand? So in Manchester, I will buy a, a, a Nyambe shirt yeah. because I believe in this guy. Yeah. Do you understand? Here, I would rather wear something else. Mm. I would wear a, a Zlatan Ibrahimovic yeah, shirt yeah. here. <laughs> do you understand? So it's, it's there are... I don't want to just bring the negatives mm. d forward, mm. do you understand? But for all the progress we have made, there's still so much more. Mm. There can be because that. for a country that is a guy that's possibly about to go into the Premier League mm. with his own team my or by, 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 by transfer, yeah. my fingers are crossed. Yeah. He, he, he has now the injury, you yeah. know, that, that, that yeah, yeah, he's setting yeah. the team back a bit. Yeah. But for a guy who's about to go into the Premier League, we're not celebrating him enough. Mm. So if Nyambe is celebrated... We, we create a sensation around his name. Mm -hmm. Now he's a, a superstar. Now brands can run to him mm. and he has the leverage. It's not just about getting a deal. Mm. It's about getting a deal that changes your life. Mm. And, and, and I, I guess after that changes the community as well. The community um, as these well. Are, you, we've seen footballers, you mentioned Sadio Mane and, and his journey. Um, the way he pours back into his community back home. I mean, the guy's built football pitches, schools. Look at Samuel Eto. You know, Samuel Eto. Did you understand? Drop by, has built hospitals. 100%. Um, so. so, yeah, you're right. I think if we celebrate these athletes, and, I'm, and musicians, it's a whole different conversation. <laughs> it's a whole different yeah. conversation. Yeah, but, but athletes, the athletes. Yeah. Because the athletes are 
at world level. Mm. These athletes are uh, participating at the highest level. Mm. Do you understand? Afcon is the highest level. Yeah, it, it is. It is. And these athletes, Jocelyn Kamatuka scored a goal. Against a, a goalkeeper, the best goalkeeper in the world right now. Was it Mendy? Mendy. Against Mendy. Against the best goalkeeper in the Do you understand? He scored a goal. We're not celebrating him enough. Mm. I remember Jolly and I were in Cape Town going to clubs. I was acting as his agent. Yeah. Trying to get... <laughs> Do you understand? This is how deep it goes. So yeah. when you don't see the guys' lives change enough, mm. it's a bit frustrating for, for the level of excellence they have. If you take a Namibian star, even just the coach, mm. to a foreign country, at, say you take the Namibian coach to Afcon, mm. he is a high dignitary mm. at the Afcon. This is only a certain amount of teams. Of all the African coaches that exist, uh, how many is it? 30, 20 something? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. They, they make it to, they make to, to it. the Afcon. Yeah. So let's say 20 to 30 coaches. I think 32 or something. 32 coaches yeah, yeah. in Africa. You're the top 32 of the thousands of Do you coaches. understand? So as soon as you step out, then immediately your, your value We need, to we need to celebrate. We need to celebrate more. Celebrate more. We need to celebrate. Like more. I, I think you're right. It's it's the culture, not just athletes, not just um 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 the musicians. I think the culture of celebration needs mm. to change. Because even even you as my brother, we could be we could be in the same. We are in the same industry. Mm. You do something great. I'm waiting for my greatness and not celebrating. Hundred <laughs> percent. Not yeah. celebrating But yours. Through celebrating me, we put me even just. Not as as an individual, mm. do you understand? But as a country, we put ourselves in a in a more fortunate position because if I make it, it makes it easier for the next person to make it. Because mm. now all we need to be is consistent. Mm. We need to consistently produce. Now, do you understand? With Boma, she brought all of the eyes <sighs> to Namibia. Now the next next sensation, the next genius that mm. comes out of Namibia, mm. it, if if it happens in the next year, two years, mm -hmm. it'll be even better. There'll yeah. be more eyes. Yeah. There'll be more investments into her before she even goes. People yeah. will invest now because yeah. they know, hey, Namibia produces. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? And, and he or she will be equipped by the time they get. She'll there. be equipped by the time, not afterwards. Mm. Do you understand? So the plan is to equip the, the the players and so on beforehand. Because if you look at the the world outside, mm -hmm. let's take PSG that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. PSG, okay, because they based in Paris. Paris mm -hmm. is a highly fashionable oh, city. Yes. yes. So you have to be a fashionable yes. club. Yes. Do you understand? But just how they. Because you have Mbappe, you have Neymar. Mm -hmm. This is young guys. This is the youth. These are influential. Young, guys. and they're probably the most popular players in the world right now. In the world, you understand. So, and the most influential players mm -hmm. in the world. So these guys want to be cool. They want to, and you don't want to separate them from the team. Mm -hmm. In the team, they're just normal players, mm -hmm. and out of the team, they're mm -hmm. cool. They're cool, yeah. They're, so you want to keep them cool. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Do on the pitch, off mm -hmm. the pitch. So they they realize we have to celebrate these kids mm -hmm. because they will make. More kids come in. It's 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 a what like do you call it? it? A, a chain reaction. Uh, yeah, a ripple effect. A ripple you effect. Do you understand? If you look at um, the two biggest um, sponsors of football, it's Nike and, and Adidas. And Adidas. Yeah, those are fashion brands. It's lifestyle. It's true. <laughs> and uh, now the and now PSG is a lifestyle club. And now PSG is a lifestyle club. Um, last man, that's that's interesting. You say that because um, I want to make lastly just to close the the connection with what you do and football because you're so passionate about football and you're even more passionate about fashion we've seen drip foot footwear and 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 these South African brands yeah. collaborate with clubs yes, yes, and yes. national teams yes, yes. will we see concept your brand uh, collaborate, uh, collaborate. With, a, with a team at some point in the near future uh, we've, we've already had talks mm -hmm. I've collaborated with the Brave Warriors fan club before where mm -hmm. we made uh, uh, hats mm -hmm. for the technical team as well they mm -hmm. were wearing when they went to Afro oh. they wore concept uh, hats that was you that was me <laughs> so on the Afcon okay. bench they wore concept so we've already done it but it's yeah. not celebrated mm -hmm. that much do you understand so we need to get it to a point where let me give you your flowers man that's brilliant th th that's, that's brilliant <laughs> that was one of the highlights of my career Honestly, do you understand? So I always, I'm a, I'm an outsider of football, yeah. I, and when you are outsider, you you have a different uh, lens that mm -hmm. you look at it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I constantly look at, okay, but fashion is happening all around the world. Why isn't it happening here? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? If Dion Hotto comes, I was with Shalulile the other day in KFC. I know Shalulile Shitembi mm -hmm. in KFC, and it was almost like nobody realized this is Pietro Shitembi. Pietro Shitembi, do you understand? So. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. I hear you, and and I think um, the biggest take, uh, or the, what resonated most with me with this whole conversation is the the celebration side of things. And yeah, man, I'm just on my end. I'm just calling on more Namibians to just celebrate. Like you have excellence all around. 
Hundred percent. Celebrated. Hundred percent. Because if we celebrate, we put value in it, and when there's value, there'll be investors, and when there's investors, it grows. One hundred percent. You grow, and you you can be a part of it, and you can grow as well. You can grow as well, and we make it more sustainable for the future. That's it, man. Yeah. Cassidy, thank you so much thank for joining me, Thank you, thank me, you man. for having me, man. This, is, uh, this has been the first episode of the series of Six of the Coach with Script, and we have more coming. Celebrate your own. <laughs>